So let's try to catch up. We started late. So Amir is here. Uh, thank you for coming. So uh, Amir, you, uh, you, uh, we had a, a bunch of questions about overlay FS. How are you here? Do you want to summarize? Or? Yeah. Shoot. Just in summary, that uh, on Monday we have this uh, discussion that uh, we previously had an idea to have to overlay our BPL file system on top of uh, other pseudo file systems such as a group of, group of FS, um, a C group of FS file system. Uh, there, this could be used for using BPF to extend the interfaces of uh, C groups. You can imagine that uh, the overlay FS is a combination of uh, the underlying C group file system and the top layer is the uh, BPF file system. So you can pin in uh, BPF object uh, in the top layer of the BPF file system and the underlying layer is the C groups. So which is a uh, builds an uh, association uh, with a BPF uh, object and uh, a particular C groups. Uh, this is a way for extension of uh, the pseudo file system interfaces. Uh, similar to that, uh, we could also do not only for C group file system, but also the proc file system, if we can do that. So we can associate uh, the a pinned object, BPF object to a maybe a task uh, for a task uh, in the system. So basically, um, I was thinking uh, if possible, uh, we can uh, we can do this. The I tried this, have some RFC patches, uh, basically allowing BPL file system as a top layer uh, for the overlay file system. But the problem I have is that uh, in my use case, the underlying uh, file system uh, is a SQL file system. It's uh, mutable. So the the, in a use case, the users of this uh, infrastructure may change uh, the underlying, uh, create a uh, directories uh, in the underlying layers. Uh, so this is, a, this is not an intended use case from the document I read, that not an intended use case uh, of the overlay file system because it uh, assumes that the underlying file system is uh, immutable. It's only it is read only, and every update should come from the uh, the top layer. So um, uh, so I tried that, but I do notice that there are some problem sequence of operations uh, that could uh, create some um, undefined behavior, problem, create problems if I yeah, try to. It's, this it's going to weird places when you try that, but um, we need to ask you more about the specific requirements of the use case. Overlay FS can merge an upper directory and a lower directory, right? File that exists in both. Yeah. Is that your use case or you're just trying to attach subtrees into, you understand my question? Are you trying to overlay specific files or populate a directory with files from lower and upper? Can you? Give a bit more specifics of the requirement. So the like pretty much what Howell said that to be able to extend like procfs to group fs with all the files that are not there like today in C group fs. Like in BPFFS, we can pin uh, an iterator program so it will look like a file, but it's powered by BPF on the other side. So you can like cut it and it looks like file. It looks like file. Yeah, there is a text output to it when people cut it. So the requirement it looks, so the is files specific directory to add new files. Multiple in. directories, multiple files, but they will not overlap. Like they will, they won't be, they won't like replace the file that already in C group FS. It will be new file. Okay, but in, inside a specific directory, there will be normal files and virtual files. Yeah. So in, in the same directory, you will do do ls, and in the same ls, some of the powered by C group FS and underlying mechanism, and some of them. Well, like edited by BPFFS. So we want to create the directory in the BPFFS, but then create an overlay so that to the user it appears like a single unified layer. Okay, and. What what are the semantics that 
I understand that you require the merge functionality. Or yeah, or it LFS, can be new file system. But we don't care. Just the reason something. I think, well, you know that there was a previous implementation of uh, AUFS, and AUFS does support mutable um, lower layers. The the conception is that AUFS is uh, not fixable, not fixable in a way that it could crash, it could oops, and there is no way around it. So OverlayFS avoids several of those uh, races by not allowing uh, mutable lower. But the other functionality of OverlayFS is uh, copy up, and I don't know if you guys need that. What is copy up? Copy up is you start with a lower layer like an entire image of uh, f uh, OS, and then you modify specific files, specific directories, and those are copied up to the upper layer, which starts empty in a container. So that's the a major uh, concept of overlay yeah. and I don't think fast, we need this. Fast, yeah, we don't need any of it. We just right. need like two different file system to merge. Okay, so Maybe we need a new file system, merge so FS. <laughs> my, my intuition, without having looked at it, is if if you would uh, just, for example, create a mount option that avoids copy up comple completely. I mean, a file can only be in either of mm -hmm. the upper or layer mm -hmm. and never transitions from being lower to upper. Well, first of all, you can throw away 90% of overlay FS code, but if you still want to use overlay FS, I don't know that there's going to be many complications because this just the functionality of merging two directories is in one file. It's in the file uh, read dir, and it's just merging two lists. I don't think there, there should be any issues there. It's just a simple merge. Uh, so it's read dir for merging the read dir, and there's lookup, right? And lookup is complicated if, if the state of the, the entry can change from lower to upper, but if it cannot change, then you either find the object in the lower file system or you find the object in the upper file system, and then you construct the de-entry which is either lower or upper. Yeah, th this should be mutually exclusive. The, the files that are in C group FS, BPFFS will not touch. Okay, and, so and license. my intuition, without looking at it, is that if you uh, disable the copy up, all the copy up. Uh, is the option already like no, this? So we would need to hack it a little no, no, bit, right? There so is no like use it, case. Yeah, no so we would need to introduce like a mount option or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if it will be accepted, but I'm just saying that from architectural point of view, overlay FS has two distinct functionalities. One is merging of the upper and lower, and the other, which is a little bit more complicated, is this transition from lower to upper. And then all of the things that are, you want to white out, uh, like make something that an object in the lower disappear from the merge by placing a white out in the upper. Yeah, we don't need, we don't need any of this. And like for, for us, I mean, 90% like at least of the code is irrelevant, and there's a little bit of code there. So either you make a good case for overlay FS maintainer to just do a mount option that um, allows you to use mutable uh, layers and disables copy up, or you factor out the, this code into a library and do a new file system. It's not a lot of code. Not well, yeah, look, at the time, overlay FS is what what is referred to as a stacked file system is a part of a family of stacked file system. In the kernel, there is ecryptfs, mm -hmm. which is a stacked file system, and just one in, in okay, so there's just one, uh, two entry stacked file systems. It's supported in the VFS in several places, like there is the, the SB as a, as a member of stack depth which, which uh, introduces the concept of a stacked file system and the, um, there's a maximum of two stacking so you can do overlay FS over ecryptFS or something like that. 
And, and at, at the time, I wrote another stacked file system. Okay, I wrote it and it was used internally uh, in my employer. And I was considering like doing some sort of uh, abstraction uh, of doing a library, lib uh, stack FS, which overlay FS and ecrypt FS could use because, oh, and shift FS, how can you forget? Oh, there was yeah. an attempt to upload shift FS and it didn't happen. But one of the things that I said in the review is, that, okay, there's a lot of code duplication here. And I've been working in fixing bugs that you guys now have for a long time. So th it makes sense to share. So just either Miklos accepts the patch to, uh, to allow this uh, configuration of mutable layers with no copy up. I don't know if there's any complication. I didn't look at it. Uh, or we do something like that. We, we say, okay, we have a, co a concept that is uh, inherited. A stacked FS, an overlay FS is inheriting from stacked FS, and we leave the implementation of merge, we take the implementation of merge from overlay FS and put it in somewhere common. That's the second option. But try the first option, right? Uh, Miklos, as I know him, he, he would be open to anything that is useful, that's, that's, that's his criteria for accepting patches. Something that is useful for users, doesn't break anything, is not picky otherwise. Sounds like a plan. So is at least like if I got you, like there's nothing, like once we like disable this copy app, we introduce this restriction that files either in one file system or in other, there are all of then it sh sounds like everything should be all right. And then it's mainly like the technical question whether it's a mount option for the overlay FS or it's a new file system where like common pieces are factored out into library. Yes, and I will give 50% chance that I'm forgetting something uh, crucial that won't work, but uh, that's. I have another, um, so I have a stupid question, like how is, it, would it be possible I mean, like for the BPFFS, it would have to merge the, or it would have to attract the directory structure of, I don't know, PROCFS or C group, right? Right, right. Is there a way to not having not having to do it so you don't have those races when? I didn't, I didn't get it. So, so like for, for C group, you have a specific directory structure, right? And if you want to merge those, then BPF would also have the same structure so you can put the file from BPFFS into okay, so would overlay it, right? The, the intention is not to attach a BPF program to a directory, but to the file system as a whole. That's the intention. I, think I, 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 I get your point, Daniel. <laughs> so basically, uh, what, what, is, uh, what is being asked here is that if you uh, in BPFFS, you sort of have to mirror the directory structure of C group FS to overlay it on top, right? Is there a way that you can not do that and say, look, this directory should go there uh, in, in, in the overlay without having to mirror it? Like, this is the directory that I'm creating in the C group, F, uh, in, in, in BPFFS, and not have to mirror all of the structure of C group FS. Okay, so you want to load a program yeah. that's been. Um... That's gets triggered on C group creation, right? C group movement creates a directory. Some files appear in that directory, right? This directory is appearing in BPFFS uh, currently, but in a, in, in a root, like BPFFS, uh, there is some, some structure that begins forming from here onwards where these directories start appearing, but we don't want to mirror the C group FS. So we don't want to like do sys FS, BPF, C group, and then the whole thing from there on. Yeah, I understand, I understand the issue. Um, I need to think about it. Um, <laughs> is that, is that yeah, that, that's, that, that's, that's another uh, limitation factor that overlay FS right now, if you make a modification in, inside a, a DP sign 3, it needs to just now create the entire skeleton in order to just write this one file, and that, that's what's happening today. 
Uh, it's it's think not that it. big a deal. Like, I think this is more doable, but it's just from a user uh, friendliness perspective. Look, there's a concept. There's a concept that I added for, for NFS export uh -huh. in OverFS, a uh, concept of index. Okay, so if you enable uh, the index feature in OverFS, which is a prerequisite for NFS export, then what you get is that uh, for every directory that has been copied up, meaning that it's part of the skeleton, uh, there's an index file, index by the NFS file handle of the lower. So basically what it gives you, and it was initially created to fix a problem of overlay FS of how to deal with hard links, mm -hmm. how to know to associate uh, hard links on different paths when the upper layer is some sort of skeleton. So the index can be used to, like say, you're doing a lookup of a directory and you don't have the skeleton. Yeah. But if the BPF program populates the index with something that tells the lookup, oh, I'm now looking up in this directory, so you can somehow uh, use that. I mean, it's not a complete answer, but in OVL lookup, Besides doing a lookup by name in the upper and then in the lower, it also consults the index. So the, it's something that you can play with. So I, I guess the BPF program will need some functionality to modify that index. Well, it's um, the index. Look, the upper file system. Uh, w when you create an overlay, you need to provide a, a lower, upper, and a work deal. Uh -huh. And the index is in the work deal. And the work deal has to be in the same file system as the upper. Okay. So one of the issues, I don't know if you have uh, tackled this, but one of the issues is the, the upper file system needs to have some uh, op uh, methods that not all file systems have. It used to be that it's very restricted to very few file systems. Like it needs to have, in order to operate uh, optimally, it needs to have support for uh, rename whiteout operation, extended attributes, all sorts of things. But you don't need that if you don't need to support rename. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm just saying that you will see when you try to use an upper uh, FS, Maybe there are some restrictions that you will need to relax. But one of the restrictions is that the work deal has to reside on the same uh, file system as the upper deal. So work deal is where the index deal is created. You, co you could create the indexes on the fly. Same mount. It's not a real restriction, but uh, it's in the code, but it's not. Uh, but we could create the index here then on the BPFFS if it's the same mount. Yeah, I think... Uh, yeah, I, I think, I mean, that's what the code does. It just goes to a backing file system and writes the index there and looks up the index there. So I guess you could... I, I guess if I understand correctly, the index is in the working directory, right? I, I think I have, I already have an RFC package. Very simple to extend the current BPFFS to, uh, to be making this... Uh, working directory working, so making the BPFS as an upper layer. I can send out this uh, patch maybe today or tomorrow. Yeah. Everybody's the same. Look, it's not, <laughs> what I'm proposing is not, uh, it's going to be frowned upon, right? Because index is something that it is internal to over LFS, and over LFS writes it and consults it. But I'm just saying that there's a concept that maybe you can make it work and make it not a hack uh, because I, I also consider the fact that OverFS needs to have the entire skeleton in order to uh, represent a change deep inside the tree as a limiting factor. So just let, for example, for containers, if I want to create an image that changes one file, it could be useful if there was a standard way to say I'm, I'm creating an image that's the file ID of the directory, and that's the file I'm changing, and you don't need to create the entire skeleton. Just use a similar concept. You may be able to work around this problem. I don't 
say, I'm not saying it's going to be easy, and also I don't know which file ID you can use for in, a, in C group FS. And the whole thing should, needs to be persistent or, at all? No, so, so I know number is fine. So basically, OverlayFS uses uh, NFS file handles, which means it uses the, there's a standard um, operation um, and code FH. You know that? You guys know that? No? So there's a standard operation uh, in VFS. It's called encode FS. Uh, because NFS as a protocol, um, when you open a file, you get back a file handle, which is a binary blob. And you can use that to write to the file, even if the server has rebooted since. So, NFS, so the VFS has this concept, and the file system needs to support export FS in order to be exported to NFS. Uh, to implement the operations of encode FH, encode file handle, and decode FH. However, so overlay FS sort of latches on on this uh, capability to implement the index. However, the, the complicated part of implemented export FS, which is complicated, is the decode part. The encode part is trivial, and it actually has a general implementation. It just takes the inode and the generation number, which are there, and, and that's the blob. So essentially, every file system, I think, you can call even the, uh, the system call name to handle, name to handle at, and you will get this blob. I'm not sure it works on C group FS. Yeah, you. But I don't see why not. There's yeah. just. Uh, I mean, the system call will not work, but the underlying uh, function. And code FS and code FH does work, so you can still use uh, generic code uh, as overlay FS uses it. You just want to use it for semi for for all, like for all kinds of. Uh, so, for example, imagine like in the proc FS structure, we want to add Ooh. custom statistics. Yeah. Uh, proc is going to be very problematic because it delete it basically creates and deletes entries on demand. Yes. And uh, you will need to pin the dentries of the lower. Um, I'm not sure what is what is the problem. I mean, what I, 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 what is the challenge with the uh, with ProcFS? I was wondering about it. So, if you create a new uh, if you look something up in, in ProcFS, the inode and the dentry doesn't persist. It, basically, it creates and deletes files on, uh, on demand. Yes. So otherwise you would have a problem because you would keep millions of dentries and inodes around and proc would be m megabytes, gigabytes large. So the, the two things uh, regarding that. So. A network file system as a lower like like NFS, uh, the entries can also can also go away on the server. So for that, there's the operation uh, revalidate. The entry revalidate. The, the VFS does. I mean, when you look up some file, uh, if it's in the cache, if the file system may invalidate the de-entry, then the VFS calls the revalidate to see if it can still use it. So it's not a full solution to the problem, but, um, but overlay FS does call the underlying file system revalidate to, to check if the entry is still valid. That's one thing. The other thing is uh, read their cache. Overlay FS does have read their cache. Uh, so if things change underneath, they, the change may not uh, appear in RAID-DIR uh, unless you invalidate the RAID-DIR cache, which overlay FS doesn't do because it doesn't expect lower directories to change. 
Yeah, I think that's exactly what I saw when I was uh, doing experiments. So basically, I create a when it directly created in the lower, and then you ping object from the upper, and uh, works fine. But then if you delete it from the lower, and then the the upper layer from the upper layer, you still see that the directory exists, but you can't access it. It says that uh, it's invalid. I think that probably have some caching that's uh, invalid at the entry. That's yeah. probably what you are saying here. I think that's the, in the 50% that I said, uh, the but issues I didn't look at, didn't uh, think about, but. Can we uh, disable this cache? Like, hmm? this is a simple use case, not big file system. Yeah. Can we disable the cache? You can if you don't care about uh, caching read, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, that's that's the that's the solution here. Mm -hmm. uh, apart from that, I have patches that I am going to try to upstream. I'm not sure about uh, the spo the prospect of uh, uh, accepting them. Uh, patches to use the FS notify to detect changes in the lower layers and no inform overlay FS on those changes. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. AUFS supports that. That's that's yeah. how AUFS deals with mm -hmm. changing of uh, low. So I have patches. I'm not sure how far this will go, but again, it's for this issue, for the reader issue, it's not relevant. Um, we'll support you on those patches. If for we. for for the re revalidate uh, issue, I I also had patches for that. I need to find them. I mean, because OverlayFS already does revalidate, but it's not working so well if you're changing local file system. So I, I need to look at that. So I think the next steps is as for for us to hack around a little bit around. Uh, yeah, try something. Yeah. yeah. Try the concept of disabling all the copy up and mm. uh, read your cache and start with something. It will have problems. Mm. Uh, post it and I will help you if you, if you need. Uh, point you at patches if I have. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. That's great. Are you going to be at Plumbers? Uh, I think I'll attend virtually. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Thank right. you. Thank awesome. you for coming. Thank you, Thank you so much. <laughs>